my channel and to a brand new video. In, in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you a slow cooker recipe video, and I'm gonna be telling you why that you should not be putting your slow cooker away for summer and bring it back out, because I've got four amazing summer slow cooker recipes that are absolutely delicious. So let's get into the first one. So the first meal I'm gonna make is gonna be a pulled barbecue chicken. And this is gonna be a really great one for sharing because you could put it in yeah. buns or wraps or with rice. It's a great versatile meal. Um, so let's get going and show you how to cook it. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk you through all the ingredients. Um, but as always guys, I will definitely leave the link um, down below for you. So if you wanted to follow along through that, you can absolutely as well. Um, but here is everything you need. So you're gonna need some vegetable oil, um, chicken fire fillets. Um, we got a family pack here, so we're gonna be doing it quite a big batch. Um, some tomato pas passata, um, some barbecue sauce, um, paprika, two red onions and two garlic cloves, some brown sugar, um, I'm going to be doing it with harissa paste and then to serve it, you can serve it with quite a lot of things. We're going to be doing it with these folded flatbreads because we're really enjoying these at the moment. Um, if you've got burger buns or rice or on a jacket potato, all of them would be absolutely lovely as well. Um, so this is everything that you are going to need. So let's get into cooking it. Okay, so you're going to start by grabbing your vegetable oil. Um, and then just browning off your chicken. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of oil into this pan here. Turning that on. Yeah. Let that heat up for a little bit and then I'm gonna start browning my chicken. Um, whilst you're doing this as well, you're gonna to wanna to pop your, your slow cooker on too low. So just get that warmed up. Okay, so once your oil is heated up, so you're gonna to wanna to start browning off this chicken. Um, so just pop that into your pan. Um, and if you wanna do it in batches, do it in batches. And then once it's brown, move it over to your slow cooker. Okay, so now that's browned, I'm just gonna be moving that across to my slow cooker. be cooking off the onions for five minutes until they're soft. Okay, so once your onion is all fried, then you're gonna to need to add your garlic in. So I'm just putting mine in my garlic crusher and adding it that way. And also add in your paprika, so two teaspoons of that. So you're just gonna to wanna to leave this cooking for about a minute um, all together and then add this into your slow cooker. Okay, so after you've added in your onion mixture, you're gonna to need to get 100 millilitres of water and add this into the pan. Just because you wanna to to get it all the juices and everything from this pan and then you're gonna to wanna to add this into your slow cooker. Okay, so now I'm gonna be adding in my other ingredients. So I'm gonna be adding in two tablespoons of harissa paste. <laughs> 250 milliliters of your passata. So that's about half of this um, can here. Um, 100 millilitres of barbecue sauce, that's probably most of what I've got left here. And then also one tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a nice good season with salt and pepper. Um, 
And then I'm gonna give that a really good stir. Then you're just gonna to wanna to pop the lid back on um, and leave that on its own for six to eight hours. So you just wanna take two forks and literally start shredding um, the chicken apart. recipe and we're going to be doing Spanish chicken and this if I'm going to be honest this is my favorite one so stay tuned for this one because it is delicious here's all the ingredients that we need for this recipe for Spanish chicken so obviously we need chicken so I've got a pack here of chicken thighs um, we need some Spanish chorizo tomato puree We've got um, some chicken stocks, so you're just gonna need one of those. You're gonna need some peppers. So I've got a yellow one and a red one here, an onion and some olives as well. So that is everything that you're gonna need for today's recipe. So I've now gone ahead and prepped everything. And the very first thing you're gonna need to do is get yourself a nice pan and you're gonna need to fry your onions. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So this little man has woken up from his nap now. I was hoping to do this recipe while he was napping, but he decided to wake early, so he's gonna join us with this recipe. He's gonna pop him in his chair if you hear him in the background. This is little Theo. Hey. Once you've softened the onions, you're just gonna to wanna to pop them straight into your slow cooker. So after you've um, put your onions into the slow cook, you're gonna need to brown off your chicken. So I'm gonna be doing that next and then add the chorizo in with it into the same pan. Again, you're gonna to need to pop all of that straight into your slow cooker. So next, I'm gonna be adding in my peppers. Then my olives. And then my chicken stock. So lastly, I'm going to be adding in my tomato puree. So you're going to, going to need to give that a really good stir. So really get that all into the slow cooker. So that is everything that you need for the recipe, all in the slow cooker. You're just going to need to pop the lid on, Pop that onto low for six hours and you'll have a delicious the next recipe so today's recipe is going to be a cinnamon and paprika pulled pork um, so this one's going to be totally delicious totally shareable so great another shareable nice summer recipe for you let's get straight into it okay so here's everything that you're going to need for this recipe um, I've got here four pork shoulder steaks so these are what I will be using um, I've got some cider vinegar um, I've got here some golden syrup, paprika, 
cinnamon, one red onion. You're gonna need four um, cloves of garlic, some apple juice and plain flour. Um, so these are all your ingredients and I'm gonna show you what we do with them. The first thing you need to do is dice up your onions and just pop them as a base layer in the bottom of your slow cooker. <laughs> Um, so next up we're going to be putting together our spice mixture. Um, so for that we're going to be needing half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're going to be needing two um, teaspoons of smoked paprika, um, one tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Um, so let's do that next. to put one tablespoon of flour on a plate. Um, so we'll do that now. Once you've got your spice mixture ready and your flour, you're just gonna wanna prepare your pan. Um, so put a bit of oil in it and just start heating that up. So now I've got a bit of the pork on a plate and I'm gonna be getting my spice mixture. I'm just gonna be getting a bit of that and just sprinkling that over. And then just rubbing that into the pork using my hands. So I'm going to be doing that both sides. So again, just rub that into the pork. After you've done that, so now I'm just going to be popping a bit of flour on each side, like so, and then into the pan, just to sear it. golden colour like this then once they're golden you're going to want to pop it into your slow cooker on top of your onions. Okay so next up we're going to be um, compiling these ingredients so you're going to need 160 millilitres of apple juice, we're going to need two tablespoons of golden syrup and three tablespoons of Yes, Theo. Theo's down here joining me if you can hear him. He's just down there while I'm cooking. And you might hear him making some noise. He's just playing around your chair. Um, so it's three tablespoons of cider vinegar. And then it was four garlic cloves. So I'm going to do that next. that mixture into your slow cooker so all over your meat and onion mixture make sure that's all in then you're going to want to pop the lid on and pop that onto low for eight hours so once that is all cooked you're going to need to put it into a separate dish and then use two forks to shred it so this might be easier to cut it into sections and shred um, but just use two forks to do that so let's do that next Now start shredding. So that is now all shredded and smelling absolutely delicious. I really wish you could smell this. We're gonna be serving it in nice white rolls and with some condiments. Um, we've got some apple and carrot as well to come inside. Um, so that's gonna be absolutely delicious. And yeah, I'm gonna put it together now and show you what it looks like. So the very last recipe that I want to share with you today is sweet potato coconut curry. So this is one for the veggies and if you like vegetarian meals, this one is going to be really, really good for you. Um, so let's get into the recipe. So his, here is everything that you're going to need for today's recipe. Um, you're going to need red cabbage, pasta, peanut butter, coconut milk, paprika, red pepper and red chilli, garlic cloves, an onion, obviously sweet potato, and ginger. 
So um, as always, I've cut and prepped everything ready and the first thing you're going to need to do is fry off your onions. Okay, so next up you're going to need to add in your garlic and ginger. I'm going to add my garlic first. And now I'm going to be grating in my ginger. So you're going to want to add a teaspoon of paprika. Uh, let that um, give that stir and then leave it in pan for a minute and then add that all to your slow cooker So you can add cayenne pepper. We're going to be leaving this out because we're going to serve this for our daughter and She doesn't like it too spicy. If you do like spice then add that in at this stage So after you've added that to your slow cooker you're going to, want to go back to your pan and add in your red cabbage your chili and your peppers as well. And so lastly, you're going to need to add in your sweet potatoes and fry those for five minutes just until they start to get some colour around the edges. So add in your coconut milk next. and then your passata. So once that's all in your slow cooker, give that a really good mix. Then you're gonna to wanna to just pop your lid on and then pop that onto low for six to eight hours. recipes that I'm sharing with you today what I will do is put a link down below for all the recipes so that you can follow them along um, if you wish to there um, and also guys I've made some more slow cooker recipes so what I'll do is link that video here for you so that you can go and watch that video next if you enjoyed this one and thank you so much for watching if you did like this video then please give it a nice thumbs up for me it does not make me know that you like videos like this and also consider subscribing and um, thanks so much and I'll see you in my next video bye guys